Today is Monday, the second day of Holy Week. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come, Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus enters the temple courts, making what can only be described as a scene. If yesterday the people saw him as the humble king riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, today he's a frustrated prophet, loud, interruptive, speaking judgment. Jesus quotes the Old Testament prophet Jeremiah in this text. Something he was seeing in the temple reminded him of that old scripture. Imagine being in the crowd as Jesus was going around overturning tables. What are you seeing? What are you feeling? There was nothing unusual about all of the buying and selling, even the money changing. All of that was standard fare. It was like a market in a city center providing supplies for the pilgrims who had journeyed there to worship. But something about it had become bent, twisted. The motivations had become disordered. It was likely that the money changers were keeping people with less means from being able to worship God in the temple. Whatever it was precisely, on this day of Holy Week, Jesus reminds us to take our place in his house seriously. To not forget how easy it is to get co-opted by materialism or the culture around us, to keep others from worshiping God to stay, as Jesus quoted Jeremiah, a house of prayer for all nations. As you listen to the scripture again, listen for the heart underneath Jesus' actions and words. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. 
As we enter Holy Week, consider that we often hold the same paradoxes and tensions that the temple did that day. We're filled with spiritual motivations and filled with disordered motivations. What are the tensions you find in your own self today? Is there any place in your heart or your mind or your actions that Jesus might want to turn upside down to make right? Ask God for grace today to receive him as a prophet and for humility to hear his words of correction and reordering over your life. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
can dwell in. We want to be a place you can dwell in. We want to be a place you can dwell in. We want to be a place you can dwell in. We want to be a place you can dwell in. We want to be a place you can dwell in.